This week has been dominated by the drop in official interest rates to uh, historical lows. Chris, this mm. must be so exciting It is very... Well, it's all happening. They're coming thick and fast now. That's three in five months. So not only has the RBA cut the official cash rate to three quarters of a percent, but economists expect one or even two more cuts in the not-too-distant future. So this week we've seen, of course, that banks are not passing on the full amount to borrowers. A lot of people are quite upset about that, and it seems likely to remain the case for future cuts. Now, these rate cuts are supercharging the Sydney and Melbourne price rebounds. In fact, the latest monthly data shows a 1.7% rise for both cities in September. Now, we'll break down the bank's moves and the market dynamics a little bit later in the show, but you can see there what the big four banks are offering right now. It's, uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's, so now we're talking about the non-banks. You can just see the huge difference there, Shelley, what the kind of, what the difference is. And of course, about 80% of people bank with the big four banks. So those ones are starting to look a bit more attractive now. Yeah, but even though we're a little bit tentative to move to the non-banks, I'm sure there's a lot of anger from borrowers against the major banks. Mm. So what do you do? Well, this is the problem, right? So we know that the bank's margins are actually falling. So they're not lining their pockets as a lot of people seem to think that they are. But as we keep on saying on this show and we keep on being told, shop around because there are so many good deals to be had if you just look and you ask and you hassle people. <laughs> but is this also affecting affordability? Obviously, if people are thinking, oh, I've got great rates, I'm going to get a good price for my house, therefore they're selling for a higher price and it's hard to get into the market. Well, exactly. You've asked a really interesting question there because just this week we've had some new research around the perception of affordability. It's actually worsened over the last couple of years. And if you feel like your home is a little bit crowded, there's probably a pretty good reason for that. This new study shows that more and more young people expect to live at home past 30 years old. What? I know, right? It, it would kind of be unimaginable a few years ago. In fact, 34% of millennials are staying at home or are expecting to stay at home until they're 30. 34%. Now that's up from 20% just two years ago compares to 10% in 1981. So it, what used to be seen as absolutely not, I'll, I'll move out, thank you very much, Mum and Dad, it's becoming a much more important part of uh, growing up, it seems. I think we have just scared a whole heap of parents. <laughs> I think we have just given millennials some great ideas, but I think there's a lot more to this yeah. than just kids staying at home. You know, perhaps they're saving for their deposit, perhaps they've bought investment mm. properties, so they're staying at home to pay those down a little bit more. Yeah. Perhaps it's that idea of having the granny flat out the back, which isn't for granny, it's actually yes. for the kids. Exactly. So I think this is a much bigger discussion than it just is. millennials deciding to travel the world and put their feet up. Exactly. I the can't afford believe I'm defending a millennial. I know, it's good <laughs> because affordability is a big topic and we are going to unpack it in the future. But uh, what we can talk about now is uh, auctions around the country today. Let's start with Melbourne. It's regaining its place as the pin-up auction capital of Australia. There are 704 auctions in the southern capital today. Now, the NRL Grand Final weekend has hit a Sydney auction scene harder than a Jared Warrior Hargraves tackle. I'm pretty impressed with my uh, <laughs> reference there because NRL I don't know knowledge. much about NRL. 190 <laughs> happening in Sydney. In Brisbane, uh, still strong with 61 auctions. There are, there are 34 happening today in Adelaide. And in Perth, rebounded from a low last week to 26 properties under the hammer today. Well, yep. it's a so, good reason to cross to someone very special. It well, is. I'm glad to see he's back on the show. We are. In just a moment, because we wanted to update people, because last week we crossed live to uh, one of only a handful of auctions in Melbourne as everyone was busy watching the AFL Grand Final. Numbers were right down, of course. Now, the good news for that property in Box Hill was 1 Cameron Road, Box Hill North. It sold for $1.17 million. Now, amazingly, there were 128 bids and the auction took over an hour. So the idea of selling on grand final day, we thought it was crazy, it worked an absolute treat. treat. Oh, we'll Isn't see it? how many auctions there are next grand final day Good point. because of that. Yeah.